for today, got the Custom 6, I mean 10XL out. I don't think it's original hood, I mean not a grill on it, for a 10XL. Pretty good. Yeah, bet you guys didn't realize put Sharpie on it. Focus. I didn't focus on it. Put Sharpie on it. I think, I'm not sure, I don't think this is the original seat. I think the original seat was white, but it's similar to it. As you can tell, it has been repainted, of course. This right here, the shifter, different knob. This looks like your grandmother's like door handle or something like that to a car, I don't know. The hood, in good condition, I mean, not bad. Not bad rust. I put the little ornament from the 65 on to keep it some, keep it somewhat the same. Uh, that plate's not too bad. I couldn't really fit anything in it. It's got like John Deere tires, I think. But they're, they're Firestone, but... I think it's John Deere. They painted over the outside of them. I screwed up. But yeah, I hate when people do that. It just shows like that you don't care. The, the hood, I mean the grill, it's crap cut out of it. You could have put this thing in. I gotta rebuild the carb first. I mean... It'll start, I just need to rebuild the carb. I mean, there's crap in the bowl a little bit, I think. I'm not sure. I shouldn't screw with that. Um, you know, they cut that crap out of it. It's not too bad right there. But I can't put the mesh back in it. It's not too bad for a little machine. The tires are friggin' rust city. Both sides, there's a little bit of paint left. That was sitting up right. It sat inside of a barn, believe it or not. Not a barn, like a, uh, Shed. I hate the freaking hoods on these things. I, yeah, so I traded it for the 60. I traded the 65 for it. Got this one instead. It's got a. What is it? The guy said a uh, 14 horse Snow King in it. Same bolted down tight. Gas tank's not too bad. It is locked in place. I mean, it's got a lot of rust on it for being a gas tank, but. I had a rat's nest there before, so we'll probably get some wiring chewed out. Uh, that's kind of unique here. Turn the key. This is for electric start. Choke. Yeah, whatever. Gears shift good. Doesn't mean the train is good on it, but the guy said it was. I mean, we turned it on. Yeah, we got it on with some starting fluid first. And I almost drove into his pool because it was in gear. He lives on a, it's like on a hill, and then he put an in-ground pool, so it almost drove into his pool. The hood, inside of the hood ain't too bad. They cut the crap out of it right here, yeah. I mean, that's like a nice cut, but of course you can tell it's been cut. Don't look at it at all. I got the ST10, I mean 12 out right now too. Just got that one today. I just kept it out here for size comparison. It's almost a whole entire hood bigger than a, uh, so that's a level for the hood. And this is higher. This is sitting higher. That's almost like a whole entire hood and a half bigger. It sits a lot more taller. Things are freaking behemoth. Size comparison, like, it's huge compared to it. I mean, the custom, I like the custom still, but, you know, this one will match up to this thing right here. They welded on the muffler too, I don't really like that either. This one's got that standard, like old Tecumseh 70s style muffler on it. It's not too loud at all. I haven't had it with the throttle all the way up before though. Yeah, so, ain't too bad. 